produce a lot, a lot of sequences a day. Uh, it's based on uh, capillary electrophoresis. Capillaries are somewhere inside and you cannot see it right now because the machine is running. Right. And there is uh, 48 capillaries, so 48 sequencing reactions can be, uh, can be uh, proceeded in the uh, in one moment. Yes. And I don't know exactly how many sequences it's able to produce a day, but it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. It's not the largest mach uh, machine uh, available, but it's still it's, it's, it's possible to produce a lot of data. Mm. So, what's more, I can... What, in what format is the data sent out to your customers? Um, these are uh, fluorograms which, are, which represent the sequence, just a pix of four colors. Yes. Each color is, uh, uh, is responsible for one of the four nucleotides. Right. And you must analyze the data yourself, that just if the machine was right that the certain nucleotide, for example, A, is in, the, in such a position or in another. Because yes. this, this is only machine. Yes. And machine makes mistakes. Yeah, you, of course, you can use uh, the raw data from the machine and uh, use your own program to, uh, uh, to make sure that uh, the sequence is like that yes. or not. But uh, it's just a machine and you have to decide if you are going to believe in something or not. Yes. Or your data is just a garbage. <laughs> it happens sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. black one means G, yes. the red T. one means T, and the blue one means C. C. Yes. And these bars over here represent the probability that the machine was right. Really? So the, the taller bars, the spike, yeah, yes. yeah. And the more if, accurate. If you go to the, oh, sorry, to the end of the sequence, you will yes. see that the oh, error I see, done. you don't know so the detail there. So this then. part of the sequence contains many errors. I see. So it's possible that there are errors there. It's possible that not. But, but when you choose for your analysis only those parts of the sequence which does not contain errors, you can assemble the entire sequence without almost any errors. Traditionally, it is acceptable to have one error per 10,000 base pairs. Okay. But nowadays, yeah, you can find easily a lot of data with errors. Yes, even that's in, true. Because people uh, even in databases, because people just mm -hmm. produce something and yes. uh, put it uh, into the database without even checking that the sequence begins in the right position and so on. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, regarding the databases, you may, must be very careful. And that's true. You have to to, to check if. <laughs> It's a really sequence you want. I see. Yes. So it could be like too much information. Yeah, and sometimes you know, if, if you have a gene or something cloned in a vector, it's very likely to find the vector itself. Yes. Oh dear. <laughs>